Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Rachel, I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Today we're talking all things crafting adhesive, specifically paper crafting adhesive. Now there are a lot of different options for paper crafting. Some are a little bit better than others and today we're going to break down all of that. So if you are relatively new to crafting or paper crafting and you want to know all things adhesive, we are here to help you with that today. Now before we jump into the video, I wanted to welcome you to Oak and Lamb. If this is your very first time here on the channel, first of all, welcome. We're so glad that you're here. Uh, take two seconds to go down there and click subscribe. It helps us more than you know. Thank you all so much for all of the love and support. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Whether you're making a simple card or applying paper to wood or anything like that, adhesive does matter. The brand, the quality, the type of adhesive you use, how much time you have to work with it, it all matters. So we have some wet and dry adhesive options here that we absolutely adore that we use all the time. So let's go ahead and dive into these. We do have quite a bit to show you today. Everything we talk about, I will link down below in the description so you can click and pop any of these into your Amazon cart. Okay, first let's talk about some wet adhesives that you can use. Now here are three of our favorites. This is a Mod Podge, this is Satin, this is Barely Art Precision Craft Glue and Art Glitter Craft Glue. Um, all of these are pretty comparable. These two are extremely comparable with each other. Uh, I'll link both of them down below. This Art Glitter is our absolute favorite kind. The Barely Art, they're basically the same thing to us, but this one is cheaper and you get more of it, of course. So that is why we love this brand in particular, but both of these are really, really great. They're non-toxic. Both of these are water-based that dries clear, goes on white though, so you can see where you're, of course, putting your product down. These are phenomenal for really any type of paper crafting you do. Now, the only downside to these is even though they do dry fast, they don't dry super fast. So if you're in the market for something super fast, you need to go with something that's not a like a liquid-based, water-based sealer like this. You might want to go for something different. Our favorite quick drying adhesive is actually hot glue. So if you're wanting something in a pinch or you're wanting something uh, to be done super quick, hot glue is the way to go. And this is our Lynn Lily glue gun by Surebonder. It's phenomenal. Uh, so it's a mini glue gun. It takes mini glue gun sticks. It is a high temp glue gun. It can be cordless. So on the base, you let it heat up and then you have two minutes of work time. Or you can unplug from its base and plug it directly into the gun to have it a corded glue gun. But the colors are adorable. Uh, the precision tip is absolutely phenomenal for smaller projects, but this Lin Lily glue gun is phenomenal. So if you want something super, super quick that doesn't have to take any time to dry like the uh, liquid glues do, hot glue is great. But again, that precision tip is what you need, especially when paper crafting, because you don't want big globs of hot glue. You want it to be pretty precise. Next up, super handy for paper crafting, and that is uh, glue pens. These are great. Now, just to be honest, if you get something like this Barely Art, which has a super fine, I don't even know if you can see that, how fine it is, a super fine precision tip, you really don't need a glue pen. This kind of does its job really well, but if you don't have any of that, these glue pens are great. So you can get them in different with different tips on them, like this one is more of like a marker tip, you can see where this one's more like a ballpoint pen tip. But they do really well for super small, intricate items. Now another paper crafting essential is some reverse tweezers. So these are great for like little pieces of paper that you pick up, put some of your glue on there, add it to your project, and just go on with your day. It's super, super fast and easy to work with these. The only downside is that it dries so quickly that you have to really work fast whenever you're making something because with the dry time being so quick, it goes on blue, dries clear, uh, you do have to work pretty fast with those. Now let's say, unlike hot glue, you don't want to use hot glue, but you also don't want to use a liquid glue, what are your options? Your other options are like tape gliders and other types of dry adhesive. Now these are our favorite ones. This Scotch ATG gun, which is Advanced Tape Glider ATG, is our most favorite. We use it all the time. It's so user-friendly. Uh, it's incredible. It comes with refills like this, so they open up, 
and then you just kind of take out the excess and you replace your tape. Super easy to do. Um, and it's kind of little cousin over here is the Scotch ATR, which is Advanced Tape Runner. Now this one is, is a little bit different. They both do generally the same thing and they both perform really well. This one does have a trigger on it where this one you do not need a trigger. And also this is how you replace this one. But with this one, it comes with like a whole other top. So in this, you literally replace, you take this out and you replace the entire mechanism in there instead of like just the tape, like with the ATG gun. So this one is easier to replace the tape into. Um, however, there are pros and cons to each. We usually grab our ATG gun more, uh, but the ATR done, gun, it does really well. I think the adhesive is a little bit thinner, uh, but if you're using this for just paper crafting, sometimes you don't need the type of adhesive that the ATG gun has. There are different types that you can buy for the ATG gun of different strengths for different types of projects, wood and metal versus uh, like cardstock and paper. So there are different types of cartridges that you can put in this one. But this one I'm pretty sure only has uh, one. I th I'm pretty sure bonds to paper. So you can see down here it says bonds to paper. So uh, do be careful about buying refills when you do that, that you're buying the ones for paper. Uh, we have accidentally purchased the one that was for like wood and metal. And oh my gosh, it was so strong and sticky. It was just kind of unnecessary. But these are our favorite dry adhesives. And these are our favorite wet adhesives. Now, again, I added Mod Podge in here because you can actually adhere things with Mod Podge. It's not just a sealer. It does a really good job at sealing as well. So if you are wanting to make the project satin or matte or glossy and add a little bit of protection, this is great too. Mod Podge is what people use for puzzles, you know, like to seal up puzzles and stuff after they made them. But yeah, Mod Podge is great as well. Tape, or not tape, excuse me, glue pins are a great option if you need something precise and you need to work fast. And don't forget that amazing Lynn Lily hot glue gun. I hope you did enjoy this super fast and quick video all about paper crafting adhesives. We use these types of adhesives a lot here at Oak and Lamb and it's our job to educate you guys so you can make good informed decisions on what type of adhesive you need to use for the different types of projects that you create. Uh, now, of course, these will be used for different types of things. So again, I hope this video did help you. We do have lots of paper crafting videos if you are new and you're looking for some project inspiration. So definitely check out the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel for those. If you did enjoy this video, you would absolutely love to be a part of our community here at Oak and Lamb and be a part of our flock. Our flock is every member of our incredible community. We have over a thousand digital cut files with free commercial use licensing. We also have a member only Facebook group as well as member only videos, a member only podcast and free courses including in membership to help you master your Cricut machine, no matter which machine that you have. We absolutely love allowing you guys to be inspired every single day. That's what we strive to do here, no matter what area of crafting you're passionate about. We do have monthly and yearly memberships at great prices, so check down below, click the link, see which membership tier is right for you, and join today. Thank you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and leave us a comment if you have any questions at all. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you another day for another video.